hello guys welcome to my channel on today's video we are going to be discussing facebook content monetization policy so this is going to be a kind of a discussion class because this is one of the questions that i get very much from my viewers and content creators so i'm going to make this an interactive class i'm going to explain everything i know about facebook content monetization policy all right so if you are here for facebook content monetization policy then stick around because this video will teach you all you need to know and how to stay in line with facebook content monetization policy so what is facebook content monetization policy on facebook there are things that they expect content creators to do and when you go against these rules you'll be flagged so how do you get facebook content monetization policy on your page the first is when you post people's content, as we all know, if you post contents that are not yours on Facebook, you are going to get content monetization policy. Also, when you use sounds that does not belong to you, this must not be videos, this must not be music. It can be jingles that you integrate in your video to make it funny. Some of these jingles that we include in our video has been trademarked already. So when you use them, you will automatically be flagged by Facebook. And also another thing that causes content monetization policy is the kind of video you upload on your page. Most people upload their original content and yet they still get content monetization policy. So what happens is that maybe you are uploading things that exposes human body which is not allowed on facebook which is called nudity content or you are posting things that defames a group of people or you are posting things about child abuse from what i've known since i started creating content on facebook anything related to child abuse or child nudity is a very strong violation on facebook and trust me it can damage your page for a very long time all right so these are some of the causes of content monetization policy. Recently, you will find out that if you create a page, it will be flagged for content monetization policy. And people come and say, what is happening? Why am I flagged when I have not even uploaded anything on Facebook? There's what we call building presence on Facebook. Now, Facebook understands that when you just create a page, you need to start uploading on the page so that they will know the kind of content that you upload and they will know if the contents follow Facebook content monetization policy. Before, when you create a page, you see that the content monetization policy is ticked just like you are seeing on my screen. But nowadays, when you create a new page, it's not be ticked. They will show you that you have not established your presence on Facebook. Another cause of content monetization policy issue is when you reshare your post massively all by yourself. So when you do this, Facebook sees it as an invalid activity on Facebook and they are going to flag you for content monetization policy. All right. So I uh, haven't highlighted some of the causes of content monetization policy. Can it be solved? Uh, I know many people expect me to say yes or no. This is a polar question, which requires a polar answer. But sincerely, I will tell you that, yes, it can be solved. I've solved for people. I've seen people also who DS were ticked automatically without any changes on their page. So this can be solved. The question is, how do I solve it? So content monetization policy issues can actually be solved on Facebook. Another question that people ask me is, should I abandon my page because my Facebook content monetization policy section is not ticked? Now, this is my candid answer to that. If you know that you are posting the right things on Facebook, you are doing the right things on Facebook, don't abandon your page because you have no guarantee that if you start another page, you will not also violate so don't abandon your page, look at your page, look at what you are not doing right and do it right and um, continue creating content with your page. However, if you have violations, strong violations on the page, it's advisable that you always create a backup page while you troubleshoot 
the main page that has issues. Solving content monetization policy is not always easy. Facebook does not give everybody the opportunity to chat them and explain issues to them. But for you to solve content monetization policy issue, you must make sure that your page has been audited properly. You have taken down videos that may have caused this. You know, you must have the background knowledge about content monetization policy. If possible, reach out to somebody who has solved this for a long time and uh, you get the basic knowledge of the courses. And this way, solving it yourself can be very easy once you have the background knowledge of how to solve this issue. All right. So this is a... Uh, an intro to Facebook content monetization policy. As you all know, in my next video, I am going to settle down and explain how to solve Facebook content monetization policy issue. All right. So before that video comes out, I remain Justice TVK. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. To my next video comes, I remain Justice TVK. Stay safe and keep creating content.